And so how is a school funded? You say it comes in in 12 month installments. How do they, how do you apply for that? How do they judge it? What, how does that work? So so a school can, can be funded in, in one of two ways. Um, one is on their previous year student numbers and one is on their current year student numbers. And within those funding mechanisms, there's, there's different factors. Um, so each student comes with a basic level of funding and that's called ORPU. Um, and then there's other factors then that top up that funding. So it could be, you know, if you're in a, a deprived area, there'll be an additional allocation for that. Um, if you've got a lot of students, they've got additional um, needs. If the school's in a deprived area, yeah. or if that individual yeah. comes from a deprived area. If, this, if, the, if, right. if that learner's in a postcode. Um, so your kind of funding's delivered from there. Um, but the actual method of funding in terms of previous years and current year numbers can have a big impact on a on a school and a trust's uh, finances. So in our trust, we've got one one particular school who joined the trust. Um, it, it was it wasn't performing particularly well. It was uh, requires improvement Ofsted rating, um, and it had um, a lot of students that that were, were kind of leaving. Um, our trust just came in, turned it round. It's starting to perform much better in terms of attainment, and as a result of that, the students' numbers are coming back. So we've got year groups leaving um, in the upper end of the school of maybe 80. And then we've got year groups coming in in year seven of perhaps 200. So that's a, a huge um, growth mm. for that school. Um, but they're funded on their previous year's numbers. And to put that into context, for this year, they're only funded for four out of every five learners. So 20% of the students in that school, they're not funded for yet they've still got to pay for a teacher to be in front of the class. They've still got to pay for the materials, for the teaching assistants, for the overheads of the school. For everything. So, you know, so it's, it's very ch- very challenging. Um, and, you know, we, we've, we've put a business case into the funding body to, to try and change that and who methodology. Decides whether, and who decides whether they're funded on the on the current or previous year? Is, it, that, is that a historical legacy thing that just happens over so, time? So or? generally, if a school's current year funded, so funded on their current year pupil numbers, it's generally because they're either a new school and they're kind of building up their year groups or because they're going through a period of, of significant growth. Okay. Um, but obviously what, what the Department for Education will do along with the with the funding body is they'll look at the, the wider context and not just the individual school. So they'll look at the financial position of the trust. Because obviously what, one of the benefits of being in the trust is that you know, you, you, you're, you're stronger as a as an entity as a whole rather than your individual operational units. Um, they'll look at what reserves you've got they'll look at other schools that might be in a different position so you we might have you might have a school that's got numbers that are reducing and you so you've almost overfunded um and they'll look at thresholds and can you surrender funding trends. could you surrender funding between schools so say like you know if you've got a surplus in one school because they were funded on because they've they're, they've lost a lot of students recently and someone's gained a lot would that ever be would, yeah. would that ever come into i mean that that happens uh, indirectly so you know, we, we report on each school as a separate business unit, um, but we are only one. Question. But we are one entity. Yeah. So you know, each you know school in in the mat is almost underwriting other schools. You know, we we just have one in terms right. of the company's house HMRC. We are one entity.